Sunny skies, 73 degrees. Good morning at 902. I'm Bill Vanko. Here's the latest from the WBAL 24 hour broadcast center. The boss has a boss, and that boss is a doctor who has told Bruce Springsteen to take a few weeks off work. For 24 years, Bill Vanko's voice has brought the news to millions of Maryland listeners. Well, now Vanko is about to hang up the mic and enter a new chapter retirement. Vanko will no doubt spend part or much of that retirement on his other passion, nature photography. Our Ava Marie caught up with Vanko for a stroll around Lake Roland. Bill, you're retiring. I'm going to miss all the conversations <laughs> we have. You're such an inquisitive person. You are a human encyclopedia. I think that all ties into what made you such a good journalist, but you're also a really talented photographer. And so I wanted you to take me to a beautiful park so that I could kind of maybe learn some tips from you. But uh, how does this all tie in together as you as a journalist? It's actually the same thing. What I do on the radio every day is tell stories. Mm. And I do it with words. What I try to do with my photography is tell stories with pictures. There, there are certain pictures you take that are perfect technically and they're beautiful and they're wonderful, a, a hummingbird here, an eagle there. But the ones that I really like are the ones that tell you the story of what was happening. Yes, and those are some of the fun conversations we have yeah. is those pictures that you have uh, just captured something that maybe no one else is seeing. And so this one here that we're looking at, uh, it's an alligator. Tell the story behind it. This, this is the Yogi Berra picture. Yogi said you can see a lot just by observing. This is a prime picture of people who are looking so hard that they don't see. There are, I believe, seven people in this picture, and there's a giant alligator. Crossing the road. Crossing the road, <laughs> and six of the people never saw the alligator. Mm. This was in the Everglades in a place called Shark Valley. It's a very famous place mm -hmm. where you can walk down one of the few paved trails there, and there are swamps on the sides, and people come and they look in the swamps for the alligators, and that's what those people in the background are doing. They're looking for the alligators. And when the alligator came up and walked across the road, nobody saw it. And the only reason I saw it was because that bicyclist hit the brakes and they squealed. And I turned around and there was an alligator six feet from me. And I took that shot and it really drives home the point that sometimes people are looking so hard mm -hmm. that they can't see. Yeah. And, and then, you know, it takes a lot of skill to have gotten these pictures in just the right you know, moment. I mean, this is a, a family of foxes and I just love it. You know, there's so much love in that photo. That was that was taken right before Mother's Day a couple of years ago. And it was the classic case of being in the right place at the right time. I, I knew the fox den was there. I sat there for hours. I watched them and suddenly that one came up, hugged mom, kissed mom. And three days later, I had the perfect Mother's Day shot. Oh, it's so sweet. And there's just a lot of um, emotion that comes through these photos. Uh, there's one of this owl. I like this one. I mean, it says a lot. You can kind of imagine what the owl is thinking. He, you, you, you know what he's thinking there because he's got that look that those owls, that's a, that's a burrowing owl in Florida, just taken a couple of weeks ago. And they are so personable because they always give you that look that looks like they don't approve, but they're really fun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, sometimes you talk about how the lighting really hits. I mean, this picture of the bird, look at that gold breaking out. If that bird turned a quarter inch in the other direction, you'd never see that gold. It's only when it's in the perfect spot that you see the gold explode from under its chin. I see. So then it really all does come full circle. The ability to really see a scene, tell the story about it. You're closing the books on that as a journalist, but there's still plenty of things that you will be doing in your next chapter. I'm leaving radio, but I will never stop telling stories. I love that. And people can continue to follow your great photos online. You have an Instagram page. Uh, VancoVision and VancoVision.com is the website and that's where I post the new stuff and I'm always willing to, to talk to people there. I love talking photography. I love showing pictures and seeing other people's pictures. It's just a lot of fun. It's been an honor to work for you. Um, we are really excited to see what this next chapter holds for you, Bill. I am too. You and I get together every day and solve all of the problems of the world each morning when we come to so work. I'll still so I'll have to call we're you. We're going to miss that. For 11 TV Hill, I'm Ava Marie.